Hi guys, welcome to this Bite Size Excel video where we are going to take a first look at how you use formulas in Excel. We're going to do this by looking at some of your most straightforward formulas in Excel, sum, average and count. Now, sum is a useful formula because obviously in Excel, uh, and as we've seen in a previous video, you can add up individual cells by selecting them individually, using your plus sign, and adding other ones. However, this can be extremely laborious, which is where your sum function comes in. Now, there are a few ways that you can start to input your function in Excel. You could click directly on any cell and start typing. So equals, how you always start a formula or a function. We use our sum function, put in our open brackets, and select our data and then press enter you can close your brackets but if you press enter excel will do it for you automatically and it will add up all your values you can see which cell references it's selecting by clicking into your formula bar you can also input your formula up here in the first place or adjust it if it's not selecting the right cells the other place to look at inputting your formulas is up here on the formula tab where it will have a range of options, including recently used functions and a whole range of literally hundreds and hundreds of functions. Our sum function, what we've done here is we have put in our equals, typed in sum, opened our brackets, inputted the range that we wanted to calculate it from, and then closed the brackets. You can also add up uh, via selecting individual cells. So if we type equals sum, open our brackets, say we wanted to select a number of different cells, you can select a few, put in a comma, and then add in individual cells if you so wish, comma, and then pressing enter, it will add up all the cells that you've selected. You'll notice that you get a little green arrow popping from the corner and this is just a warning that your formula in this cell doesn't match the one above. Now obviously we don't want this one so we will remove that. Now we might want to copy this formula and paste it down our column. So in this instance, we've added up an individual row. You can also add up a column in the exact same way. And another helpful feature that Excel has is the auto sum function. So if we click here, auto sum, it will add up the values above. Now, a word of caution with using auto sum, it will select the values, the first numerical values above as part of your auto sum. So from the cell directly above, to the top of the list of values that you have. However, if you've got a gap in your data, so for example, here we have a gap and we use the auto sum function. So you can either select it from here or a keyboard shortcut is to hold on alt and equals. You'll notice it'll go from the first cell above to the end of your first bunch of data. But in this instance, there's a gap. We would like the values above. So it's worthwhile just checking what it's selecting and either manually adjusting it in the formula bar or drag the top corner here and bring it up to include all the data that we want. So again, finishing. Another useful function in Excel is the average function. So we might want to know how much on average we're spending per day. So first of all, I'm going to correct my heading. So again, equals. So when you start typing in your function, it will give you a list of suggested ones. So in this instance, we want average. So you can either select average and tab over. So tab will finish it off if you select it from the list. And then again, we can select our individual cells. If you hold down control, you don't have to manually type the comma between, or in this instance, we just want to select it as a range. So, 
And again, tab will complete that formula for you. So it's giving us our average per day. So again, we might want to copy this down. Using our paste special, we're going to paste in the formulas. You'll notice that in this instance, because it's obviously dividing zero by zero, you will get an error message. We'll come on how you can have a formula in all these cells without getting this, this error message using the if error function in a later video. A final useful function that we're going to cover in this video is the count function. The count function counts all the cells in your range that you select that contains numbers. So for example, on this one, say we want to know how many tasks we worked on in a particular day. We type equals count, select our range and finish our formula. You'll see that we worked on two tasks that day. And similarly, if we copy it across, so if we change or add in some data in another one of these cells, that will increase. However, if you want to count up a, a range of cells that contains non-numerical data, so for example, in this one text, our count function won't actually count those up. So if we show you, you'll just get a zero. In this instance, what we need is the count a function, and that will basically count any cells that are not blank. So count a, and you'll see in total, we've got five different projects on the go at the moment. So that's just a brief introduction to formulas in Excel, particularly the sum, average, and count functions. Hope you found this useful. We'll delve into a little bit more detail on these functions and how you combine functions in a later video. Please do let me know any thoughts in the comments and as always, please like and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Bye now.